This video was originally recorded live over on Daz Let's Plays. Come join us next time. Wow, I'm bad. I guess uh, look forward to that in between streams when I go and upload the stuff I missed. Oi vey, though still we got a nice screen so far, kind of. Oh, that's an just an amiibo tab. Well, then, you know what? Actually, while we're here, oh, we'll do it in the title screen actually in a minute. Uh, let's go to the Pikmin Park for now. So you still ain't doing anything. And then I can't tap anywhere. Oh, so you have done something? No, I'm just still waiting on nothing. And you guys. Oh, this is just showing me that new Pikmin are coming in, I guess. Hello. Okay. Uh, if I look over there. Oh, they are still harvesting. Just doesn't show it at, the f at first. Okay. Cool. And nothing going on in there. Alright. Hmm, I've just I've detected an ingenious cre indigenous creatures before, but the one ahead is a doozy. Be careful before heading into the next area, Captain Onima. Alrighty. Here we go, the end of World 1, I'm guessing. Area E. Huh, before we go further, I would like to get another amiibo in. Let's get another one for good measure. Let's grab this one. Whatever that was, Captain Onima, we got 10 sparkling out of it. We are here to go. Oh, that was my Pikachu amiibo. Didn't give us any extra levels. Does this guy? I'm not pressing the amiibo button. Oops, hold on. There you go. You can only get up to 10 million per day from a non compatible amiibo. I see. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go to. One dashi. Time for our boss fight. I wonder if there's anything else to it, or if it's just the boss fight. Well, this music's ominous enough, and I've seen that patch of grass in the trailer before, so yep, you know exactly what this is. Right, right there. It's a boss arena. Well, bye-bye. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Alright, giant bulb. Oh, it's nice that you actually gave us such a... Oh, hello. Right. First things first, hit you in the back. Oh, that's doing a lot of damage, actually. That's not bad. I'm not going crazy in case I'm wrong, so I'm gonna... Okay, you jump... Alrighty. I'll keep running somewhere. Okay, far away over there. Other trick, I'm assuming... Pikmin 3, aim for the eyes. Well, that's a mouth. There it is, eyes. You, I saw it. Yes. Okay, so now you're doing that. I can go in between your legs. Yeah. And then go on the backside. I got it. I think I'm getting this. The sounds of the Pikmin attacking, though. Sounds like they're dying, which is worrying to me. But I think we're okay. Buddy. You grab one. This is a nice way, though, to make the bulb orbs actually seem threatening. Why they're so gigantic in this game, though, I've no idea. But, oh well. Bam! Beautiful. And just about fitting in here. Lovely. I'm not actually picking it up. I 
like how Olimar keeps his pose as he flies in. Also, if the bulb bulb looked weird, it's because there's actually a gap between the screens on any DS. So it looks a little weird when they're actually combined. But I doubt you'd want to see a gap in between them. And it makes the screens even smaller. So, yeah. Uh, Reach 5000 Sparklium, Flashy Monument logged in, and 20 Pikmin in the park. Brought all Pikmin to the park without any losing any. Without losing any. That's the first time I've seen that. The very end of the world. Oops. Ah, Captain Onima, I think you might like to know that there's been some activity at the Pikmin Park. Great. Let's see this monument. Uh, that's, that's a pellet. Here we go. When I was knee-deep to a Pikmin, knee-high to a Pikmin, I didn't... <laughs> I did anything to get attention. I had, I had to have the latest styles. I carried books around. I had really long titles. This mysterious monument seems like a tribute to my younger self. Shiny on the outside, empty on the inside. It's better to be shiny on the inside. Oof, you were empty on the inside, Olimar? Sorry. Alright, and Pikmin Park. What's going on over here? What you doing? I'm the park manager. What do you think you're doing? I brought you some new friends. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire old ones. Literally, they're going in the fire. Uh, the Pikmin have found something. Thank you. What? Oh, I have to press it myself. I see, I do all the work around here. Captain Olimar, I'm happy to report that the Pikmin have found a stash of the Sparklium seeds. This should yield, oh, very nice. That's 10 more Sparklium. That was exactly 10 sparkling seeds shown as well, too. Cool. Um, I guess next I'll put them back in the... here? Why not? Yeah, for now. I'll swap them over when we get the next colour, I guess. Captain Olimar, I'm happy to report that the Pikmin have found a stash of sparkling seeds. I should yield. Oh, very nice. That's 10 more sparkling. Cool. And then you guys, I'll put you in the fire. Ah, that might actually kill them. Wait, go back. I uh, don't want you to try. Would it actually kill them? Can someone tell me? Would that actually kill them, or does it just show a funny animation? I want to. I kind of want to know. Also, I guess we'll look at them go around the onion for a bit. You know what? No, let's bring the reds back as well for a minute. Just to see how many there are. I want to see all 126. But no. I wanna... Will I kill them? Can they die in the park? Is what I'm asking. Can Pikmin die in the park? Also, next stream I will work on increasing the frame rate if I can. It's very blippy and it's not nearly as bad on the 3DS, but I don't know why. You don't know. Any other answers? Nope. They just pluck the grass on the side. Funny animation. They'll go to the grass. Okay. Let's test this out. Reds, you can go to electric. Yellows, you go to the fire. I said that backwards, but that's fine. How you doing? Okay. So they are. And you guys, doing grass. Okay. Okay. If that's the case, I shall leave you alone to do your biddings. I am reading a rich source of sparklium in a nearby sector. What are you doing, Olimar? It seems very wet there. I hope you brought your swimsuit, Captain Olimar. Oh, is he going in to like the sparklium pit? Oh, well, whatever. <gasps> sector 2! The verdant waterfront. I see. Sounds like this place was dying from it. The instruments were very like... Boom, 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 boom. Okay, but all right, I think on this, actually no, let's have a, let's have one level here, but I think otherwise I'm going to end the stream after this, because I think we've seen enough of Hey Pikmin for now. I will do another Hey Pikmin one next week, if not the week after, depending on what we choose for next week. We're going to do this whole series live, and hopefully I'll get better and better as you watch me. Right, let's hop on in to 2-A. Time for a water level! These seem fun. 
Like, because they're actually 3D, you know? Like, I can go up and down. We'll see how it goes. How does the jetpack work under the water? Let me test this. It just does nothing. Okay. Hello, puckering Blinow. Please leave me alone. And big ill thing. These guys were harsh in Pikmin 3. I imagine they're not much different in Pikmin 3.5. Water calls for blue Pikmin. Other kinds of Pikmin don't do well in the water, but blue Pikmin are fine. We should always keep a few on hand for expeditions into watery areas. Okay. Now throwing them, yeah, just as that. Cool, I figured as much. Right. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, did he kill the Puckman Blin? Oh. Yes, he did. Thank you, buddy. Right, I'll let you go right along. Thank you. You're the secret part of this place. Let yeah, I me mean, give me a moment. Do your thing. There you are. Ah, oh, holding them down actually keeps me stuck in place. Good to know. This feels nice and relaxing so far. I don't mind this. this way. Odd that the different sized blocks don't make an impact on like how much damage you have to do into them. <clears throat> and is that it? That was all that was? Just some more things? Cool. Kill the ills. You can kill the ills? Uh, I'll test it next time we see them. About to get a whistle upgrade, because that's what the last Pikmin or oh, Pikmin 2 had us do. Uh not Pikmin up there? Okay. I know this area. Oh you can! I'm guessing not then. Then? Ooh. That's fun. Is it gone? Oh, I didn't even kill it, it just ran away, I think. Interesting. How did they swim with this thing? Alright, just sort of horizontally. Makes sense. Cool. It's a bit of a creepy, like, breathing from Onma going on, though. I must admit. Alright, don't grab my Pikmin. Thank you. And we're on land again. Cool. Puzzles! Let's see if I can work this one out. So they can't... Oh. Oh! Don't worry, buddies. You're fine in a moment. Oh, he's not coming. There he is! Woof. How worrisome. Right, climb out before the Plucking Blin now gets you. Lovely. Oh, maybe this isn't too so difficult to work out. I mean, yes, yes, it is. It's fine. Because I can jetpack. They won't die. And I can just touch it. Gotcha! Gotcha! Look at me learning! Look at me learning! Rocket polish. There's a secret up there, isn't it? Nope, nope, I wasn't on that top level. I was on the one below it. Okay. Bip, get out of here. Get out of here. And you, buddy, can get out of here for a moment properly. Yeah, that's what that means. Like, he's away for a moment, but he's not a permanent death kind of guy. Be interesting to see like a spin-off Bulbob series. I don't know how it could work, but maybe if you like, w we were on the Bulbob side, it would be interesting to think of. But, oh well. Um, Pikmin in there? No, just a random pebble on the land. Okay. Maybe there's a Korok underneath it. Maybe I've been playing too much Breath of the Wild. I mean, I spent earlier today. I was. Um, that's gonna be a hassle, aren't you? Uh, oh, okay. You just always are gonna be great. Uh, earlier today I was playing Breath of the Wild, I was recording some of it, and... Oh boy! 
I've had some memorable moments come up. You'll see them later on if you watch the Breath of the Wild series, but some interesting s things were going on earlier today. You'll know when you see it. Right, hello. Did I miss anything? I feel like I did. The eel gives 20 seeds. Oh. You know what? I might try an effort of killing it this time then. That's going to kill all my Pikmin. I just feel like I've missed something, so I'm going to test it out. If I haven't, I apologize. At least I can show off the eel killing. Because Onimer is a horrible person sometimes. I don't know why. It just feels like there's supposed to be something in the bottom left. I don't think there is, because I think there's nothing past the eel, but... Yeah, this is, I think, what's throwing me off, because it's all... I don't know. Right, give you a moment. Wait till you stop spinning, because I imagine that's the lethal part of you. You take a lot of health. Come on, come back soon, please. Alright, if not, then I'll just go past. Oh, now you're going to do it while there is a secret in the bottom left. I knew it. Just an inkling had me had me do it. Imagine how bad this series would have been if I just did it blind without this live stream going on with people telling me these little tidbits. You know? Gosh, can't imagine it. Ah, I knew there was more Pikmin here. Come on out. Oh, it just shows you where they are. They have to be on the lower screen. I get you. Come on up. Let's grab you two to help us with the fight. Oh, four. Even better. And we got flowers now. I guess that's how you know you've got the right amount of Pikmin. They're leaves if you have only got the first bunch, buds with the second, and flowers, I'm assuming, if you've got them all. Or at least most of you what you need. There's something near the spike orb thing. Cool, I'll come back to that then. Does that show up as an enemy on the menu? No, it doesn't. Okay. Good to know. Oh my gosh, you take so long to kill. There we go. Give it to us. Satisfying. Okay, Spy Corp. Is that a secret up there? That looks like it could be a secret, but I could be wrong. Now we've got all the space and freedom. I know that guy got left behind, but we should be fine. Nah, that's not a secret. Okay. Oh, you think it's flowers if you only have over 15. Okay. Ah, yes, I see it. This is going to kill all my... Nope, that's not a secret. Am I missing something else then? Because that looks like it should be a secret, doesn't it? Well. Uh, well, maybe actually if I come back and go back in, it will um do this, do that, then go in. Maybe it will treat it like it's a... No, it didn't make time pass. Because there's a dent here, clearly, like a Super Mario's dent. Nope, it really doesn't want to show anything, so I think that's all there is. Oh well. We'll keep going. I know this area, I've seen the trailers. I'm getting these big ones while I can. Because this way, big bad man. Well, that was not nearly as threatening as it seemed in the trailer. Here's a secret. Whoa! Look at the size of that one. Nice. Come on, eel guy. 
You take way too much health, so I'm not going to bother killing you, but I might postpone your existence. Man, this level is a lot easier on me, apparently. Like, I'm having a lot easier time with this than anything else. Oh, okay, this is the way for the story. I, I for some reason, thought progress was upwards. So, I guess not. In that case, let's go and get ourselves a, a toothbrush. Very important. Uh, how does this work in with the theory, then? These are very human treasures, but the last place was Earth. Who knows? I guess Earth colonized, like, went out to space? That could be possible. Maybe, like, Earthlings didn't die and they had a nuclear war. Maybe they actually explored the, the, the planets and maybe Olimar's even a descendant of them and a deep species version of them. Who knows? Okay. I think that was the best one so far. I think we found all the treasures. Yeah, we found all the treasures. I think most of the Pikmin... Did we lose any? I don't think we did. And we also had, um, I think most of the secrets caught. That was pretty good. 700 spark, 939 spark loom, even better. Encountered your first Pikmin, Giga Whistle, Rocket Polish, Berserker Brush, brought 20 Pikmin. You brought back all the Pikmin without losing any. That's pretty sweet. Right, let's do our final log of the day. Blue Pikmin. This variety of Pikmin thrives in the water. I can't see girls on them, but they must be there. Probably. My suit ensures I can get in by water too. Not that not that that's not true of the rest of the Pikmin, so I need to be careful. Oh, but these guys. Uh, treasures even, not these guys. Giga Whistle. Yes. Some days it's hard to f I've forgotten Olimar's voice, by the way. Oh, some days I feel hot. Oh, what did his voice go like? It was low pitched, I remember, but oh well. Some days it's hard, it's hard to feel motivated. The sound of a whistle will fix that in an instant, though. It certainly seems to work on the Pikmin. I wonder sometimes, though, if they feel the same hard-to-explain anxiety that I do when I hear an unexpected whistle. Makes me worry that the president is <laughs> looking over my shoulder even when I'm at home. Rocket polish. Today I found a full tank of cleaning solution. I'll polish the SS Dolphin too until it shines. My most trusted partner doesn't deserve anything less. Wow. Good to know that Olimar finally has a partner that he likes. It's not even alive, but, you know. Postscript. Naturally, the Pikmin have already got the SS Dolphin 2 dirty again. The ship doesn't mind, though. Maybe the, nud, the mud is a nice change of pace after all the void of space. And the Berserker Brush. This is the king of brushes. Hairbrushes, cleaning brushes, and all other brushes tremble in its presence. When angered, it vibrates with rage and lets loose a high-pitched bellow. I don't know if the SS Dolphin 2 made all that up or not, but it was scary enough that I'm going to brush my teeth very carefully and head to Beth. Beth? Bed. Excuse me. Okay, also the little Pikmin icon is the size of the Pikmin in comparison to it, which is pretty nice. Right. Look at all these amiibo they expect me to have. Ha! <laughs> I have five. Hopefully six if I get the Pikmin amiibo one. Got Onoma, Pikmin, Chibi Robo, Donkey Kong, and um, Twilight Princess Wolf. What's it called? Like, Wolf Link? Wolf Link and Midna. Sure. But yes, let's go have a look at the Pikmin Park in case there's anything new, but I highly doubt it. We're just adding more Pikmin to the crowd. Oh no, actually we've got blue Pikmin. Blue Pikmin have arrived in the park. They're such good swimmers that they can even explore underwater. They sure can. But we can't put them in an underwater region, so I'll just put them in the center. There we go. Sorted. But I believe that is all that there is left to do for us today. Captain Onimar, we're at 6,000 Sparklium now. This still feels like Pokemon or the Chow Garden sort of thing from Sonic. Your hard work is starting to pay off and that's not all. I've managed to increase the energy gauge on your suit to four for a little more breathing room. Ah, so it's not done by bosses, it's done by Sparklium. And once we reach 10,000 Sparklium, I can do even more for you. Gosh, I'd love to have a ship like that, you know? So helpful. 
Again, though, that this instrument makes it sound like everything's dying. But right, that is two dash A done, and no Pikmin death. That's exactly what that golden Pikmin symbol means, right? If I go back to sector select, what a snazzy name. Go back to Pikmin War. Oh, I can spin the whole earth! Wow, I can actually see what it's shaped like then. Dot, uh, land, 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 land. Okay, so six, seven, seven, eight? Eight sectors, eight worlds, makes sense. It's just a bunch of different blobs. Maybe this looks like some sort of Pangea format, but I don't think so. Looks like it is an entirely different Earth. And uh, anything around the outside of it? I don't think so. No? Okay. Let's go into sector one. Yes. 13 out of 16 treasures, I just saw it say. So we've got three treasures to get, <laughs> all three of them in one level. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in between streams, I'm gonna go to each of these levels, get all the um, no Pikmin death things and get all the treasures in this one, then I'll show it off at the beginning of the next stream, I think. Sounds like a good plan, like the logs and stuff. I think so. Righty-o then. Well, on that note, I think I'm all done here. So uh, let's go to the one with the most amount of Pikmin in it. That's a lot busier, but a lot less crowded. Damn. We'll go to this one. That looks fine. So, yep, that is the plan. Next week, we will continue more Hey Pikmin, unless another thing pops up first. We'll have to find out, but I think it's going to be more Hey Pikmin. Welcome to the first and end of the first ever Let's Play Live. Um... Might change things up style-wise in the future. You know, I would like to get the, the chat on the screen, but for whatever reason, it makes the frame rate even worse. I don't know why. Um, in fact, I can probably see if it works now, because I've got it, like, just hidden away. It might be angled wrong, but yeah, there you go. Like, you can see the chat, but it, look at the frame rate on the video now. So bad that it's kind of unbearable. Take it off, it gets much better. So... I don't know, I had, a, I had a try things, oh well. Also, I had a, a nice little screen for, where is it? There it is, Super Chat, but it's all Yoshi Yoshi, so, oh well. But um, yeah, I believe on that note, I am indeed going to end it off here. So for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I will see you next week. Bye bye